My name? Which one of my names? Say all this is is the um, the full um, cast, full, cast full of thing? characters. Daniel Frederick Gordon Rollier. And, and the, is the 17th of May. 2018. 2018. So, yeah, um, so uh, great of you to be talking to us again. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to begin this talk, this post retirement <laughs> discussion uh, uh, um, with a, a, a number of questions that I've always wanted to ask, right? And the first one is about the name, Rolet. Mm -hmm. Where you get this name from? Well, I keep telling people I was born with the name. Right. Um, where it came from, according to family history or legend, was that sometime in the late 19th century, during one of the many wars between Austria and Germany, mm -hmm. an Austrian woman had a number of sons. They say seven sons, but six of them perished in, the, in, 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 in this war. Yes. You know, it was an attempt to unify Germany. Right. Um, and she decided that she would send the seven seventh son away, first to Holland, Amsterdam, where she had a sister, and the sister sent the son to Suriname. He subsequently came across to Guyana, and he became, he was an engineer, and he became, in time, I don't know how much time, but he became the manager of Albion Sugar Estate. And from that time, which would have been now maybe 1890s, maybe, or maybe going to 1900, you got a number of rollers, a number of people bearing the name Roller. It's spread a seed. I don't know, <laughs> but seed was spread. <laughs> and, uh, because you find that, I mean, the rollers are basically a mulatto-looking kind of family. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather was what we, were, might, what we might call in Trinidad a red man. Mm -hmm. um, but he, he, he was the grandfather, my grandfather was a shoemaker. Um, but somehow he was also um, in charge, let us say, of the mental asylum <laughs> in Bobby's guy. Bobby's guy. Okay. I had a, I, I choose for mad people. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, possibly. That's <laughs> a lovely explanation. <laughs> uh, I remember him very well. He loved rum and he loved women. And, and when his love of rum uh, took over, he would begin to talk about his exploits. <laughs> with women, with various women, you'd have to, you know, uh, people have to shut him up and so on. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how your grandmother reacted. My grandmother, I can't remember either of my grandmothers, but mm -hmm. she was a, a, a black woman of a family called Saul. Um, <laughs> I don't know how she reacted to it. <laughs> um, it survived um, uh, I, I think she, uh, she must have died when I was about two or three. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't remember anything about her. Uh, except that she uh, passed on or knew 
had a knowledge of uh, it herbs, mm -hmm. but diet, mm -hmm. what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. You sh we, we should not eat things like pine, apple, I think pumpkin, I think <laughs> a whole number of things which I, I eat. I mean, but she would look at any of the children and she would say, you're being given this child, so and so. And she would know. And she would know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she had some knowledge of, of herbs and what, what is supposed to be your kina in Guyana. Kina is like, it is something that you are allergic to, mm -hmm. but it is more than that. It is something, it is something that um, you're, just sim you're just simply not supposed to, to partake of, you, you know. You um, inherited any of that? that I don't, I don't know, because I, I ate all the things that she said we, we, we should not, shouldn't be eating, so I suspect that that might have mashed everything up. Yeah. But I was born, you see, with a call, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to see things as a child. Right. There are things that other people didn't see. Well, you're still doing that. Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> I, they say that they said that. Um, they, 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 there were already too many madmen in the family, mm -hmm. and they, and they didn't want that. I also used to dream, mm -hmm. and to tell tell my dreams, you know, speak them out, talk to yeah, my mother. Clever, no, I, I I didn't know anything about what the dreams meant or mm -hmm. didn't mean, but they claimed that um, after they put the eye out. Because they, they had they use some device, I think is steaming, put, putting putting my head over a, a pot of boiling rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this 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 dreaming I disappeared. Mm -hmm. I stopped telling. I stopped telling them my dreams. The uh, huh? That was the antidote to get rid of the dreaming. Yes, um, steam. Steaming got rid of dreaming. <laughs> and, and, uh, so after that, they said, uh, you, you, you never used to tell us your dreams again. But when I told them the dreams, they would know what would happen or what was happening. But so, you didn't know any of that? You just, you just, I, don't, I, know anything. I didn't know anything about that. I was just a little kid. Yeah. Um, but that, but that, be, that, that, that was certainly a story that my mother would tell again and again, so that uh, something might might have been wrong. Um, what I do know is that I mean, I, I, if I had visions, then I don't have any now. <laughs> and, <laughs> I. Herbs. I had this, 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 this notion of bush to pick and bush to boil, and at some point in time, I think when I had a serious attack of typhoid, and typhoid, typhoid mashes up your whole inside. Um, I. I, I told them to pick this or that bush and uh, boil it and to serve it in a clean new calabash. Uh, I, no, again. And you would have been what age? When at that point, I, I might have been about seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And um, I got better, but my distinct memory is that I might have gotten better because of Mr. Tim McKee, who was the, the druggist, chemist, druggist, and who mixed up the nastiest tasting medicine that you can ever imagine. I'm sure that is Mr. Tim McKee's medicine 
the, the truth, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> out, out, you know. But they say, nah, man, it's the, it's the worms. So, uh, again, you now, all such connection to herbs has disappeared. Um, right now, I hardly even make lemonade <laughs> because I'm supposed to take too much lost, sugar. Lost your calling completely. completely. Completely, completely, completely. That is what post-retirement does <laughs> to, to you. It's a, kind of, it's a kind of welcome amnesia, though, isn't it? What? That, that kind of losing all that stuff in the post-retirement period. Well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome amnesia. <laughs> I try to find out what kind of amnesia I have. <laughs> um, what I certainly have forgotten is a lot of stuff that I was doing in the 70s, 80s, 90s. You know, I've been rummaging around my study, which is now too small again for all the things that I used to collect. And uh, I see stuff there that I seem to have read. Mm -hmm. um, I, can't I can't remember having read it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I, I finding a whole heap, whole heaps of things that I, yeah. I thought I knew <laughs> then, but I certainly don't know now, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, I mean, I have, been involved in trying to figure out exactly what it is that I have be, that I uh, that I was doing over forty years, from uh, over fifty years well now, from All Fools Day of nineteen sixty eight when, when I arrived to All Fools Day of twenty eighteen. This is the fiftieth anniversary of my arrival.